بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وٹ دا سیل ڈویژن ایکچولی از سیل ڈویژن از اے پروسیس ایکچولی تھرو وچ اپیرنٹ سیل ٹینس ٹو ڈیوائڈ ان ٹو ٹو اور مور ڈاٹر سیلس سم ٹائمس ٹو سیلس آر فارمڈ اینڈ سم ٹائمس ون پیرنٹ سیل ڈیوائڈس ان ٹو فور ڈاٹر سیلس دیز ٹو نیولی فارم ڈاٹر سیلس اگین انڈر گو ڈویژن and produce daughter cells so we can see that one cell divides into two or sometimes four cells newly formed daughter cells are formed as a result of one division these newly formed daughter cells then again undergoes a process of division and form two new daughter cells and the process goes on these two cells will again undergo cell division and again two new cells are, will be formed the next question that arises why is cell division necessary what is the purpose of this process why is it useful for our body why is it beneficial for human beings or other animals it is necessary cell division is necessary to ensure the growth of individuals how we have studied we have studied that organisms are made up of cells these cells combine to form tissues similar different types of tissues combine to form organs and organs make up organ systems organ system give rise to a complete individual this is the cellular hierarchy we have been discussed in detail in grade 6 so the all the structures that make up an individual are made up of cell cell divides and tissues form if the cell do not divide do not undergo division there will be no tissue because tissues are the combination of cells and is the larger structure than the cells if there is only single cell in, the, in an individuals or two or cells or even 10 cells and they do not tend tend to undergo division no different types of tissue will be formed and hence no organ systems and individual will be formed as a result so cell division is necessary to ensure the growth of individuals in terms of organ systems different organs secondly cell division is necessary to repair damaged cells and tissues whenever there is cut or wound in our body it means the cells at that wounded place are have been damaged so new cells immediately begin to form to cover this loss if no cell division would have been taking place at on that wounded place our wound will never ever be healed so to repair damaged cells and tissues cell division is necessary the third very very important and the basic purpose of cell division is to continue the race of individuals it means to continue the generations as you see a cat have offsprings these offsprings are capable to fertilize again and produce offsprings those offsprings again fertilize and produce new offsprings and that's how the, the race of or the species of cat continues there is particular type of cell division involved in this process the similar process takes place with human beings if there is no particular type of cell division the offspring of human beings will not be formed and there will be stop on the race of humans number of humans will be limited in such situation so here we can classify the type of cell divisions taking place in human bodies or in individuals mitosis that ensure the growth of individuals as well as is necessary to repair the damaged cells it is one type and the other one is meiosis 
which is necessary to continue the race of individual animals and human beings as well. So in our today's lecture, we will see these two types of cell divisions in detail and then we will make a comparison between the both. First of all, we will study mitosis. Mitosis as we have been discussed earlier takes place in somatic cells only. Somatic cells mean body cells that are present in all our body parts, hair, hands, nose, ears. nails and it is taking place throughout all the time anywhere in the body before the cell division in mitosis begin there is an interphase interphase is the pre mitosis stage in which cell prepare itself to divide, to undergo division. In this stage, the chromatin, the genetic material, material present inside the cell, or the chromatin, replicates itself. In our previous lecture, we read that each individual has its specific number of chromosomes. In human beings, there are 23 pairs of chromosomes. It means that there are 46 chromosomes in human cells or human genome. These 46 cells replicate itself, themselves. The replication is necessary where the cell divides the number of chromosomes remain the same because as a result of division, number of chromosomes becomes also divide themselves. When a cell has been prepared itself to undergo division, the first stage of mitosis begins that is prophase. Here you will observe the num chromosomes. It is single chromosome which has replicated itself in its sister chromosome. This is one chromosome and it is sister chromosome or chromatid or its replica. All the genes present in this chromosome will also be present here. So same in the case with this chromosome and this chromosome. All these chromosomes have been duplicated or replicated themselves. In the prophase, the nuclear membrane present around the, these chromosomes will rupture. As you can see, there is no nuclear membrane around this. Spindle fibers will be formed. These are the spindle fibers that constitute the spindle assembly. Not only the chromosome duplicate itself, but become condensed. The feature of prophase is chromosome become condensed and duplicate themselves. The third basic feature is nuclear membrane have been ruptured. After the prophase, there is another phase that is called metaphase. In metaphase, as you can see, spindle assembly have been set up. The chromosomes from their center have been arranged on spindle fibers. These are the spindle fibers. The central region of chromosome is called centromere. 
chromosome attach themselves to these spindle fibers with centromeres and the basic features in metaphase are chromosomes lined up on spindle assembly Then there comes the third phase which is called anaphase. In anaphase as you can see two distinguished poles become to develop. The spindle fibers tend to stretch the chromosomes from this centromere region. Each chromosome which have been duplicated now begins to separate out and this separation takes place at centromere region. Half chromosome will move towards one pole and second half of these duplicated chromosome will move toward the opposite pole and there is a pinch in the cell begin to begin to develop this pinch or gap will continue to increase and the cell will be divided into two halves the features of anaphase are duplicated chromosomes begin begin to separate out not only separate out but move against opposite poles as the chromosomes reach to the opposite poles the next phase that is telophase begins telophase is denoted with the division of nucleus here nucleus divides into two Now the next step is the division of cytoplasm and the division of cytoplasm is known as cytokinesis. Whereas the division of nucleus is called karyokinesis. The all the four phases of cell division which was till prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase were the phases of karyokinesis. When the cytoplasm of a cell divides, a cell divides into two half completely. Here the mitosis completes. This is the type of cell division taking place throughout the body in all our cells all the time. Thank you very much.